We have a very interesting news from software company Vesos. They announced uh, the option to load Gaussian splatting and make different stuff in their software. And I find this as one of the coolest things what I saw in the last years. And uh, I like to present you how the cool stuff is looking like and how you can use it. Stay tuned if you like this hottest Gaussian stuff information. Yeah, yesterday uh, was an announcement from a uh, company Vesos from UK. Uh, we are a long time partner for them. They have over a long time a visualization software for Point Cloud. And actually, in their newest version, Point Cloud 2, they announced the uh, possibility to uh, load Gaussian splits inside of their software. And I like to show you their teaser software. Oh, something new is coming up here. Hot stuff from the box. You find all these videos on their YouTube channel. I think we can link them. So if you like to join it and looks here, uh, that's the animation, what you can do. Like you have these typical um, um, Gaussian topic that you have a reduced point cloud and then you have picture information and then you can generate this super realistic view like outdoor, indoor application. Here this castle, uh, super good. Or here some object. And this gives you a super realistic point. And what is new now that they have also an option to uh, edit data. As before, we can generate Gaussians with, we have an X-Grid, we can do it with this system, but there's also other sources. And we can generate the Gaussian, we can look of the Gaussian, but we cannot do anything else. And they now deliver the option to make an animation, to edit the data before, uh, make a video rendering, um, import CAD models, and also, uh, presenting the data. I don't know if you can see it in this video for the VR goggle. I think that's also possible. It's also new, but they are not um, supported all uh, um, goggles. And that is new in this uh, Point Cloud 2 software, what actually released. Here we have an information how you get the data in. If you are from this market, you can convert these PL PLI and SP set uh, formats. Um, that's what you need, that you need from your software, and then you generate a um, VPC file. This is the file from Vesos. And then you, you load the data in the Vesos software, and then have you the possibility to open the point cloud, and then you also make an editing of the data. Here, yeah, actually, you get this inside. You can make an editing, displaying, editing option, and that's how you use it. And uh, here, I like to show you some uh, uh, some examples from uh, Vesos, uh, what they've done. So we have here also a, a data set. You see a low reduced point cloud from the X-Grid system, the SLAM scanner from China. And then also with the color information was X-Grid deliver, you can generate these Gaussians and load this into Vesos software. Also this walkthrough, also that's what we're now seeing, this, this walkthrough, this animation. This is generated from the Gaussians in Vesos, as they deliver this uh, data set. And now we got something new here. That's the functionality to edit the uh, data. You see, we take here some Gaussians out, or here that you make an animation, what I find super nice. Looks here, the astronaut flying in. That's crazy. And uh, Vesos is not so complicated software. I think um, this uh, allows a normal operator who is uh, motivated to do uh, such stuff by themselves. And as I said, you have the option to go with a VR goggle. Actually, I'm, we have to look which model this is. Uh, this is a Chinese model, and I think there's another model also available, but not all models working now. And then you have VFX uh, stuff for movie um, people. I think that's just a big market, what also x with targeting with the with this uh, optionality. And um, what uh, every time if people tell me, uh, what we're doing in laser scanning Europe, I tell them we bring the reality in the computer and now with this new Point Cloud 2 option, Gaussians, I think we are now so realistic that we are really bring the real world in the computer from these um, yeah, animation points. So I, I like it. And that you see that it's not a marketing stuff. Here I can show you a video where was just done by our people. So some guy running with the x -grid system during the office complex where we are sitting. And 
then we generate Gaussians in the XGit software and then we do this animation inside of Visa software right now with the new version. So this was done by my marketing people, so I'm not a VX specialist. And you see up off the roof, so we don't have any information. We got this a little bit noisy point cloud, but this area where we have very good data is super. So it looks here. There's also my measurement van for the measurement series. I think the measurement series is more in German. So, but I find it super crazy how realistic the data is, looks like and that a normal dude can do this and get such results out. I find it super interesting. I'm, I'm super happy what this year will be coming with Gaussian, all the options, what we have. I have some ideas what we have to check out. So, and then, uh, yeah, people let us know how you find Gaussian splitting. This is a hot topic for you. Uh, did you have any experience for what you used this? And at all, don't for, uh, forget, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in the scanning technology, how we can use point plot and Gaussians. Leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, tell somebody else this is a great channel here. Help the community to grow. I say bye-bye, Eric, to the next video.